Hi everybody. So as uh, the days start to warm up and start to get lighter, I've been thinking a lot about life cycles and how the plants are coming up from the ground from their seeds and they'll be growing over the summer and hopefully eventually giving us delicious fruits that have seeds in them that we can plant next year. And so to celebrate this idea of life cycles, I thought today we could make some life cycle wheels together. Now, a life cycle doesn't have to be with just plants. So in fact, our example today will be for another special garden friend, the butterfly. Um, but I'll also leave you with some um, examples of plants if you want to make a plant life cycle. You can also make a chicken life cycle. Think about the life cycle you want to make and then you can just follow these instructions to make any life cycle wheel that you choose. Now, to make life cycle wheels, you need two pieces of paper. Blank paper is preferred, but uh, lined paper, construction paper would work as well. You'll need scissors, a marker, a piece of string, and some coloring utensils. So let's get started. So the first thing I would like us to do is to take our two pieces of paper and let's stack them together. And then we're going to take our marker and our string. I'm going to take my cap off the marker and I'm going to tie the string around the end of the marker just in a nice simple knot. And you're gonna just plant your finger down on the string and you're gonna take your marker and you're gonna move it in a circle. We're gonna do a circle all the way around the paper. And this, more or less, has given us a perfect circle. It's a little bit of a gap right here, but that's okay. I can just eyeball it in. And I'm gonna get my scissors to cut all the way around. Now, remember, we have two pieces of paper we have to cut, so as you're cutting, Make sure you are holding the pieces of paper together very firmly and making sure that they don't slide around as you cut. And there we have two perfect circles, exactly the same size. Now, the, what we're going to do next is we're going to take the top circle and we're going to find we're gonna estimate the center of it. I'm gonna draw a straight line to the edge of my circle. So see how it's made like a little pizza slice there? We're gonna take our scissors and now just with this one sheet of paper, we're gonna cut out this little slice. Ta-da! All right. So, we can set this piece aside now. So let's try making a life cycle of a butterfly, for example. So this life cycle that we're doing is going to have four parts. So to get four parts, four equal parts on your circle, fold your paper in half once, and gently press, and then fold it in half a second time. And make sure you line up the edges so it can be equal, and gently press. And then we're gonna open it up and let's take our marker to draw along the fold lines we just made. So we draw one line and we draw two lines. So as you can see, when you draw two lines, you get one, two, three, four, four equal parts. And that's exactly how much we need for our butterfly life cycle. How do butterflies start out? Does anybody know? They start out as eggs. Butterfly eggs are usually um, laid on a leaf. So I'm gonna draw my leaf first. It's gonna have a little stem running through it. And butterfly eggs are just like these tiny little dots that grow, or are laid rather, they don't grow on the leaf. So those are our eggs. And let us label this so we know what it is. At the bottom of our little pizza slice, let's write eggs. E, G, G, S. Great, now let's go to our next circle. So once these eggs hatch, does anyone know what a butterfly turns into? It's a caterpillar. So our caterpillar, I'm gonna draw a little scrunchy, scrunchy caterpillar here. They're long and they're wiggly. They have lots of tiny little legs. 
but you can draw your caterpillar however you want. I'm gonna make this his face. I'm gonna give him a little smile. I'm gonna put some stripes on his back. So let us label this caterpillar so we know what it is. Caterpillar, that is spelled C A T E R P I L L A R Caterpillar. So after the caterpillar has eaten all its food, it has to go through something called metamorphosis, and that just means it has to change. So to go through metamorphosis, it has to find a nice twig or branch, and it has to make a chrysalis. Try saying that, chrysalis. So a chrysalis is just like this little cocoon. It's this little shell that the um, caterpillar uh, wraps itself in to protect it while it's transforming into a butterfly. It's going under metamorphosis. It's changing into a butterfly. So chrysalis, it is spelled C-H-R-Y-S-A-L-I-S, chrysalis. And then once the butterfly has sat in there for a while, it emerges as a beautiful adult butterfly. So here we can draw our beautiful adult butterfly. Let's label our butterfly. B U T T E R F L Y butterfly. Now let's make a cover for our life cycle wheel. We have our top piece of paper that was cut as the same size circle, and we have our pizza slice cut out of it. And let's label this with our name so people know this that it belongs to us. So people know it belongs to us. So I'll write my name, Miss Casey. And let's label what this is so people know what it is. The butterfly life cycle wheel. So butterfly, B-U-T-T-E-R-F-L-Y. Life cycle, L-I-F-E-C-Y-C-L-E. -E. Wheel, W-H-E-E-L. And it's up to you how you want to decorate the rest of this space. I think I'll choose to draw a butterfly and some flowers and some caterpillar. But before we do that, let's take a look of how to put this all together. So you want your um, drawing of all the different life stages on the bottom, and then you'll put your cover right on top of it. Now this is normally where you would take your brass paper fastener and you would connect these two pieces of paper together. I did not have a brass paper fastener, so I just made a makeshift one. I do not recommend using this method at home, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like when you have your papers fastened together. I have my life cycle wheel. I can see how the butterfly lays the eggs, which turn into caterpillars, which turns into a chrysalis, which turns into a butterfly. Those will be beautiful to see in our gardens when spring comes. Thank you very much for making a life cycle wheel with me. I hope this was helpful. And remember, you can do this with any sort of creature. You can do it with a plant, like oak trees. You can do it with animals, like chickens or toads. You could do it with pumpkins, even. Just make sure you count out how many parts of the life cycle you need before you make your wheel. Take care. Bye-bye.